Hot once again early on into the game. Um, this top matchup is going to be super interesting. Rumble into Aatrox uh, is something that, well, we haven't seen a huge amount on the patch. Like the shy coming out, keeping Pays topped up around 300 health. The heal early here as they look for the chase. Elk and On both have their flashes. Elk already invested a ghost flash forward. Twisted advance, knocked back onto On. And Gen G played to this tune in game one. The bear now coming out and On will be brought back. And now Delight is next on the menu and Elk can turn it around. Double buff for him. It's going to be two, but a great flash from Delight. Got it, escape. From Elk, two kills to be into range of Elk to get that execution. If nothing else, they were going to get a one for one. They turned it into two for one. Now BLG look for the dive. Knock up on door and he tries to flash away, but the chase is there and the ignite is ticking. Bing tanking the tower shots can flash away. Peanut trying to answer as well, but he can't face the might of BLG's top and jungle. He just doesn't have the damage of a record that BLG maintained through the regular season. Shun here smites away. On is looking for a little bit more. They can harass. No flash, Ace has flash though. They look for Peanut, the handshake's gonna pull him back at Peanut! Even in the cozy campfire, we'll find nothing but death and despair. Pays now chased away, has the flash to get across the wall, they try and turn onto Shun, but Pays has to burn his flash as Chovy goes in, but Shun won't even fall! The bailout was on him, wouldn't have revived him, but BLG are just... And then against G2, they looked very convincing for the large part outside of losing game two. Doran now going for a bit of a trade. Going nice trade against Pinnett's Bin. It's on his way with the Nature's Grasp as well, but you can see Shun ready to react. Bin rooted up. Shun is on his way. The Equalizer down and Doran's burning. Bin trying to turn it around and Doran will fall the first and Pinnett's buried next to his brother as BLG strike. Bin just refuses to fall. The man in the top lane touted as one. Hi. Uh, but, you know, that's that's me. I, I have a, a bit of a personal stake, oh, as in they go. They do okay, finally engage onto Shun. He has the flash, goes in with the Cataclysm, and now there's the TP. Hostile takeover from On as well is going to catch two. The Equalizer down, and Chovy is burning in the river. Lava underneath this feed as Doran probably regretting that lack of flash now as Yagao catches him with the Shockwave. The EQ combo from Shun sends him to an early grave. And the Church of Chovy is in session. You can hear it's silent here. God they're praying to doesn't seem to be listening right now. BLG are going to use this numbers advantage to put pressure onto the mid tier two. I'm not sure if they're tools at their disposal. If they can get to two, three items, if BLG make mistakes, they can jump in onto them. But BLG just haven't been making too many mistakes through these games. There's the nature's grass as Gen G look for something. Baron up in 10 seconds. If you find a fight here, maybe you can turn it into more. The hostile takeover being popped. Chovy dodges away from the shockwave as Peanuts in the back of the pit. Doran trying He's to get onto Elk, but Elk yet untouched. And Doran, the warm hugs are not enough to keep him alive as Elk flashes forward. Pays is about to meet his maker as Elk sends him into the dirt. And BLG interested as the equalizer popped on Pays. Yes, TP. Doran trying to defend, been pulled back. TP available for your Gao as now he recalls. Elk takes the first Nexus Tower and BLG start to disengage. I'm pretty sure Yagao actually flashed Chovy. Oh, Pays is good! The Breath of Life! Oh, just about keeps Pays alive, but now Bin and Shun are looking for more. They've taken Dorm and Bin will fall. Yagao TP's in, no shockwave on him for about 20 seconds, but the EQ flash onto Chovy. He dashes in, but Elk has the escape tool. Feathers fly and Genji die in their own base. The Baron buff remains for 20 seconds more. Pays has flash. No ult, no dash away as he now flashes to escape. Only the cannon minion surviving here, but BLG makes the push a little bit harder. And it looks like they will finally flag and drag, and that's another inhibitor tower forfeit by Gen G and happily taken by BLG. Time is running out for Gen G, at least in this game, maybe in Worlds if they can't find a way to fight back against BLG in Game 3. BLG were underdogs at MSI, they're underdogs here again at Worlds, but despite that they stand strong and they're looking to go to match point against Gen G. It has been destruction, demolition, the most one-sided series we have seen in a while here at Worlds. Peanut has to flash away, the Cataclysm in will end Chovy's day and now Doran and the rest of Gen.G can only stand and watch on the fountain, but even there, they are not safe from the unending assault of BLG.